minus 20 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Hello guys, it's Dolls. Welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. I am joined by Carl, the fanatical Fenson, the man who looks like Hello. all of the Guess Who characters rolled into one. And I am also joined by Matt German from Tactile 3D Printing, the reason why women shouldn't get in unlicensed cabs. And, uh, and <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> I like that one. Oh, that was really good. Anyway, <laughs> right, <laughs> <it's> just, <laughs> Oh, so oh. unnecessary. <laughs> so today oh, it me. we are taking a look. <laughs> We're cracking on with the vehicle build. So what I am doing at the moment is I am downloading Rat OS. So Rat OS is uh, is Rat Rig's uh, Rat Rig's answer to uh, to Clipper. Effectively, I think it's a modified version of Clipper and something else. Um, says here hold on so let's just let's just read their little introduction so how does it work so uh rat os is a pre-configured raspberry pi image that aims to take a painless and uh, painless as possible to get clipper moonraker mainsail and clipper screen up and running on your printer via an easy to use modular configuration developed and maintained by Mikkel schmidt on the rat rig unofficial discord so what do you need to make this work? Well, you need everything that's on the machine, which in our case is a Octopus 1.1. Um, I think it's an Octopus 1.1. An Octopus 1.1. Uh, main board, we've got a Pi 3B on here. And as you can see, we have also printed the, uh, the, uh, the screen holder. So let me just pop this up here. So you can see this is on an arm this screws into the corner bracket so in theory um in theory uh when we fit the doors to this we'll be able to uh we'll be able to fit this we'll be able to sort of cable tie this out of the way and it should look quite nice and this screen sort of moves around and it pivots and all that good stuff Looks so this should nice. let us do that who have we got in the comments? So, Nonstick, Paul, Mr. Kirby, Sinister RC, and obviously Carl and, Ma and Mike are lurking around as well. Welcome one, welcome all. So I am just burning the Rat OS image at the moment. So Rat OS is like 1.4 gig, which feels quite large. Big. But yeah. Yeah, but that's at the, the same moment, this... When I put Sorry, uh, when I put OccuPrint on my Pi, I think that was a little bit smaller, not by much. Just seems like it just feels like a big file, that's all. But then I suppose at the end of the day, if you, as long as you've got like an eight gig card, which is what I've got. So it's burning the uh, it's burning at the moment. Mine C Tech, hey, hello, how are you doing? So yeah, so we're just waiting for this to burn, and then once this has done this, we will turn everything on and see what happens. I am trying to power this screen from the Pi, and the Pi is powered from the Big Tree Octopus board. So I don't know if there's going to be enough power drawn from it. So this is so Paul, this is a Pi Seven, so it's a seven-inch Pi screen. Um, so uh, so yeah, so hopefully I'm running the I'm running the USB power for this off of the uh, directly off of the Pi as well. So. Hopefully, I mean, there's enough power that's running through. It. I, I like I like that filament you've used to put the screen in. It's so nice. Yeah. So the filament I use for anyone who's interested, it's like a purple, but it's like a metallic purple, and it's a uh, it's an azure film um, filament. I use this basically because I didn't want it in black, really, um, and uh, and I don't have any green. So yeah, better be printing by the end of this live. Well, we'll wait and see. Nope. No pressure then. <laughs> Absolutely no pressure. I'm not. Uh, do you know what? The lack of confidence is so bold. I'm not even sure. Oh, I have. There we go. I've got some filament. What's this? 
So this is some eSun matte PLA. There we go. So if we get to, I'm not going to, I'm not even going to open the box. I'm not even going to open the box yet. Yeah. Paul, if you, um, I think if you, what, what, did you put it on your uh, Facebook group the other day, the pictures of the screen? The yeah, I think so. Page. Yeah. Have a look in there, Paul. You can actually see the purple. It's quite nice. Error writing to storage. Well, that's very annoying. Why have you done that? And now my SD card is inaccessible. Well, that's very annoying. So, Mr. German, what have you been printing lately? Uh, little things. Okay. I have as well, uh, to be honest. For, for charity, I do right now the change of charity again. Twice a year, so every six months. I do this. I print run about 25 to 30 individual unique lampshades. And as you can see up oh, right there, above, you know, one's been made. I just put it on and the other one just finished not too long ago. Let me put a light on. James, is it an 8 gig card you've got in yours or at 16? It is an 8 gig, yes. I am just reformatting the um the card so i was chatting to someone uh over the weekend you know about lithophanes in resin yeah. yeah and they mentioned if you put a drop of black resin into your white it will stop it turning yellow when you cure it no no apparently. really yeah apparently and it really makes, and it makes the detail a little bit more sharp as well you know like the, the the negative parts of the photos yeah you so, get more grayish and that's what you so, want i mean gray is anyway better and lithophane i think so a little bit better well i'm gonna have a play with it tomorrow putting a bit of a uh, gray and uh, black in just to see so did he say of how many milliliters to a drop no he didn't i'm just waiting for him to get back to me because i did uh, so you have to find out the recipe for yourself huh yeah so <laughs> i forget done... I don't know if that will come up on the screen, but I did this in my mutt. I don't know if it's going to come up. Ah, you've been using Lisa.com, not Luben. Oh, Luben's dodgy. Oh. So that's oh. My, my dog. <laughs> no, I'm not frozen. Sorry. I'm trying to figure out why. <laughs> but Matt, that's, that's why I'm making them. All right. That's nice. So, this, so hold on. So, are you putting, are you mounting individual LEDs in the holes, or are you just running LED strip through all of it? So, they're going to go around the edges. Each one of these, I think it's about two pound for the files, but you can pick as many. So, the one in the middle's got holes for six areas. Yeah, these got ones individually, but you can make them as big as you want. You know, like the space and spread them out. So, the LEDs go all the way through. You get a battery or a power case that can sit on the back as well and you get your lithophane and you get a little cover that goes over it like that so you're not limited to just staying with one color right so i'm actually going to try and do that in some wood on my laser yeah that'd be cool just to see if it gives it a nice little contrast um but yeah it was two pound for the file on colts really good yeah that's not bad. Really, really good. And it looks I mean, nice. look, don't be wrong. I, I, I'm acutely aware that Lou Ban can do that. The problem is, is that, like, it's not free. Yeah. And if you can do it for free, then do it for free. Yeah. Like, I, I'm sorry, but, like, I know that Ultimaker is subsidized, right? That ultimately, because Ultimaker is machines are very popular, as a result, they can invest in Cura and they just happen to release it for everybody free to use um i would probably end up paying for cura if it if it actually went if they decided that they were just going to be like you know uh they were going to be like oh you know uh we're gonna we're gonna start charging for it i probably would buy a license for cura um but i really i don't do enough to mean that luban would be a decent investment for me it's yeah. free and then sell your body. Well, I mean, to be fair, Luban costs the same as like um, Simplify 3D would do, for example. But like, if you take something like light, eighty burn, US dollars a year times five. How much? Eighty US dollars times five. 
eighty dollars a year. So yeah, four hundred dollars. So after five years, it's yours. Yeah, but for four Jesus, years, Jesus, that's quite a lot. That's is, quite a lot. It is when you consider like it's lithothane.com or lithothane. They're they're free. I don't yeah. know. I mean, look, I mean, at the end of the day, Luban <laughs> isn't really there to do lift. I mean, don't be me wrong. I know it's a feature that it does. Really, yeah. what really what Luban's for is for taking models and slicing them up, right? Yeah. That's that that that's what it's there for. It's creating the keys and creating that you know being able to create that grid and scale up a model as big as you want, and then being able to cut it down to manageable size chunks. And that's how you can do. Uh, a life-size goku or you can do you know a life-size batman or something like that because you can make it manageable for your ender but still so mind c tech is saying luban's good for laser engraving services shops and things like that see yeah laser and uh, cnc uh it's for multiple things you can use it i mean i use it for list of things and i can manipulate list of things i can put them in any shape i want them to be okay well as long as the shape lets me do it you know i might i might get luban and have a month with it and see what it's like with the laser because light burn you can i can have a talk to luban and uh, he probably can give you a license for a month or two or maybe two because, months license because light burn i find is really really good i like it and i've i've only ever used probably 10 percent of what it can actually do mm. and it works really well but it'd be interesting to see how luban works with it yeah, I, mean, I got two lubans obviously is that yeah. when one gets banned <laughs> no i got two lifetime ones because one luban is not enough for me i don't know how you think microphones work matthew but if you walk away from them they stop sorry i had to open the door yeah, my we, wife just came home uh gonna so, come home in a minute so you got uh, two lifetime accounts with luban right you know when you yeah. die you're not going to come back alive and use the other one no they're going to be buried with me it, <laughs> i'm baby. just i'm just unlucky enough that if i died i'm reincarnated i'll be unlucky enough to come back as me like <laughs> <laughs> like that like that will be I'll get reincarnated and I'll be like, oh, finally, a new shot. And then I'll just be like, son of a... And then <laughs> it'll just be me again. You, James, know what's you can consider week. yourself lucky. Consider myself lucky? Yeah, I think you're doing really well for yourself. Okay. As far, as far as I can see, I think you're doing well for yourself. Yeah. So, oh, I mean, we all can do a little bit well with a few billion more dollars in our pockets, you know. Absolutely, we could do, and that is easily one of my issues. Matt, just uh, just give your nose a bite. There, there's a bit of brown on it. <laughs> yeah, there's no more. Uh, there's no more Luban software over here, mate. Like it's just. Brown. So right. okay. to I'm going to try and fail in that because the Raspberry Pi Imager one is not having it. So uh, I, I manage a, 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 a grassroots football team. Uh, James knows this, and Matt, I. Uh, we did a pits inspection before the game today, and I found a bag of cannabis on my football pitch. <laughs> That's bad. On That's the football really pitch? Bad. Yeah. And I've weighed it. It's 10 grams. You've weighed it, and it's 10 grams. Why, I, I, did you, why did you weigh it? I just wanted to be Were nosy. you afraid one of the kids was shortchanging you? I don't know. I was going to put it in my first aid kit for the kids and give them a bit of a, you know, a, bit of a rush half, uh, half time. Yeah, I mean, fair play, oh. like... I've been told to keep it for evidence for the police because apparently there's drug dealings going on on the football pitches. So, find out. What, whilst they're playing, it's actually on a school and they're climbing over. So it's right, a secondary but, school. But they're, not, they're not in. dealing drugs whilst playing football because that requires no, 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 no. That, a that, level that, of organisation that I would not assign to your average drug dealer. So the problem is, it's right next to some fields and. Um, it's quite easy to get over the fences. So the kids are climbing over, doing whatever they're doing in there, then just disappearing. It's it's getting quite bad down there, but it is what it is. Uh, okay. Sorry. But that's like close to a hundred, I think hundred pounds, maybe? Ten grand. Oh, yeah. 
maybe on eBay no, soon. Ten pounds worth of of it's not it's not a hundred pounds. What do you have any idea how much a hundred pounds worth of cannabis would actually be? You'd be able to retire. It's it's probably it's worth about hundred pounds. Eight pound. gig SD card is too small. How's that possible? Do I have to get like a sixteen gig card? Is that my issue? Is that the problem that I'm having? Well, mine seems like you, you would think they had CCTV, but funny thing is they haven't. You can't need like a freaking, like a 16 gig card, surely. That's insane. He said, rapidly looking around for an SD card that he already knows he doesn't have. At least. What's that? At, le at least a 16. Well, that's incredibly aggravating. Uh, but it's got to be less than a 32. We're getting real specific now at this point. Like <laughs> a 16.2 would be good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's the <sighs> last time James was on, we, they were, we were talking about the, the rise of electricity and that. And the schools are considering here in the UK going to three days or four days a week. Um, which, which I think this is, yeah, this is where the education gonna go for the children. I mean, they lost already enough with uh, COVID that, and all that, but that, yeah, it will be terrible. What if the kids don't learn all about the Romans? Yeah, I'd rather have, have a good doctor. I'd rather have someone else me about what, 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 why a mitochondria was the powerhouse of the cell. I'd be a millionaire by now. <laughs> Matt, they're going to extend their time they're in school for the days that they're being. All right. Or the Germans. This is definitely a problem. What with us I Germans? I don't think I have a 32 key. So this is going to be a short stream, isn't it? I'm like, I know I've got eight. So last time was it was a micro USB. Pardon me? Last time it was a micro SD card. Uh, my wire you needed, wasn't it? USB. Yeah, well, I found that. If that makes anybody feel any better, but um... okay, one moment. Talk amongst yourselves. What have you got? What what's your um, sixteen or thirty-two? Right. Okay. Fair enough. Um, what what projects have you got at the moment, Carl? Um, Fine. So at, the, at the moment, I am. Hold on. Uh, let my me, nephew's let me birthday make, tomorrow. Let me make you big so that I can go and find this uh, SD card. So my nephew's birthday tomorrow, and uh, I made a cake thing with his age and all that on it. He likes dinosaurs. And then I got a, a phone call today saying he likes Ghostbusters now. So I've designed a Ghostbusters one and stuck it on quickly. Um, but I, I've done this. And if anyone is on TikTok, there is a giveaway with this. And it actually does print in place. And it is... A strange design but it works really well so don't know how it works it's magic oh, be a cube yeah it's clever so i've got yeah, one of them printing cool. now a little bit smaller for my youngest because he wants one i've got loads of uh, chaos cortex balloon dogs on at the moment and they are quite funny i've got the uh peeing dog and the fire hydrant at the moment i've done a hot dog one what else have I how about the pooing one i've done the pooping dog i spoke to chelsea i've sent chelsea a message and i've asked her if we can have the humping dog so two dogs at it which would be quite a good one um but yeah they seem to be really popular at the moment yeah and they print it yeah they print really nice um, yeah, it looks like a good design, and yeah, and let the be honest, And to be honest, yeah, oh, it needs support. But to be honest, that the stuff they make is really good. They do a lot. They do a lot of Patreon stuff. So victory! Really oh yes, the SGL files are pretty clean. I think that's why they work so well. Yeah, yeah they're, they're, And to be honest, if you if you go on Twitch and you follow it, you can actually watch them design. It takes about an hour to make each one. It was such a pain in the ass. We were just talking about have you seen Chaos, Chaos Cortex pooping dogs, SDLs, and that, James? I don't think I have, no. 
So they've designed balloon dogs. Yes, I have seen them then. Yes, I know what you mean. So, yeah, I've got a few of them on at the moment. They're quite good. So I've seen the I've seen the I've seen the pooping ones. Yeah. Um, I've seen the one where he's like bent over. A lot of people yeah. are doing them in like metallic filaments, aren't they? They look really cool. Yeah. I've got one in a dual color at the moment. I've got the peeing dog with the fire hydrant. Right. You're doing them in different colors. Yeah. Or is it all just print as one? A uh, different color. I did um, a hot dog one. A dog in a hot a hot dog bun with like a. Um, Mustard on the top. It was quite funny, actually. That lasted about two minutes, so the kids stole it. It's weird the stuff that just suddenly takes off in the community, isn't it? Because, like, when it take, when something takes off, like, it takes off. So, yeah. like, obviously, Crystal Dragons was a huge thing. Uh, torture Toaster was big for a while. And, yeah. like, obviously, Pooping Dog and things like that. It's just, it's just interesting, the things that... And don't get me wrong, like, I, I, I all, all credit to the creators that make them because I'm sure that they, you know, they managed to, they managed to get a cool model onto, onto one of the larger channels and then everybody wants to download it and everyone wants to play about well, with it. Clock it's just really, I mean, like, a lot of them give away for free. Yeah, well, he's done the new one, hasn't he? So his torture toaster was last year. This year he's done an umbrella. Oh, okay. And it prints um, with upside down. And it, yeah, pops. It looks really nice. I haven't got down to it yet. It looks really nice. Is it a Chinese one? What umbrella? A Chinese umbrella. Yeah. How's that different than a regular umbrella? Is it a bit shorter? No, it's just the way it's shaped, and it looks more like uh, bamboo. You know, like going outwards like a star almost and okay. then a very thin no i do not i believe it is a regular umbrella uh, yeah it's an umbrella a regular western european umbrella coming oh, over here I'm whitewashing sorry. how exciting but yeah because like um chaos cortex do a lot of stuff with um the 3d nerd all right yeah so a lot of the stuff that he's been doing with that actor, they've been designing like the frames for his um, TVs going behind and stuff like that. So, oh, oh, exposure's good exposure, isn't it? At the end of the day, very true. And I mean, the guy who made that Crystal Dragon, I mean, I know that the person who made a lot of money out of that was probably Colts 3D, but um, but like, uh, but the that's a parasol that goes straight. The umbrella is more bent. There we go. Did you see this STL fix Flixy Dragon, which Uncle Jesse showed recently? I think Teddy did it. The I've STL Flixy Dragon. I don't. I haven't. Nonsense. Are you talking about this new um, website where you can actually subscribe and you've got access to all the files? I think it's called STL. Ooh, I can't think of the word. Um, and it's about ten dollars a month. And they have loads of different designs. I mean, look, I mean, it depends on it depends. I mean, ultimately, all you're describing is Patreon without the fees. So, I mean, like, OK, fine. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I feel like I feel like there's a lot of platforms out there at the moment that are desperately trying to fill the thingiverse void. Yeah, so, so it's, it's called STL Flicks. Oh, OK, yeah. fair enough. So it's like ten pounds uh, or ten dollars uh, just to be able to print them and keep them yourself. And I think it's about twenty dollars a month to be able to sell them. Yeah, it just sounds like you're describing Patreon, but someone didn't want to pay the fees. Yeah, it's a different route. Yeah, interesting. But yeah, as I say, I, I know that I know that for some time people have been trying very hard to uh, to sort of move away from Thingiverse and try to set up free alternative sites i mean obviously prusha's got um prusha's got theirs um what's the other principles principles you, know, one is... you got fangs yeah that's it yeah um and then obviously you got all your search engines right is it yegi and all them that do sdl searches yeah so i use yegi a lot because yegi like it like brings up cults yeah. and every and, and like everywhere so it, yeah. it searches a lot of other sites to bring up results and you get and that's what you generally get a pretty good result but... and that's what they're trying to do with fangs right they're okay. trying to make it into a better search engine so like 
it searches Thingiverse and it searches printables and all them places, which I think makes life a bit easier, to be honest. Yeah. It does, yeah. I can imagine all those websites are less than impressed by it because it, it literally means that they're taking traffic off of their site while people aren't looking for it, but still. Yeah, yeah. yeah, fact, yeah Fangs is... I, I use it now and again, but it is No, doesn't get to redirect it? Yeah, or it just... redirects, yeah. But a lot of the designers now, like Chaos Core Tech, like uh, 3D Mechanics is on Fangs. They're, they're, they're starting to use that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's in one of our groups. He is, yes, Alan. Yeah. Nice guy. Yeah, yeah he does a lot of free stuff for the community as well. I'll say that. Yeah, he up and a lot, lot of stuff that he makes. He like, he puts hours times. into them. Like, he puts hours into them. Yeah. Some of the stuff he makes that you don't get to see, uh, it, it, it just blows my mind. Like, the speed that he can work at as well is fantastic. Yeah. Like, he's working on, at the moment, um, a little project for us. Um, you know, like the, um, the trucks that carry tanks, you know, in the military? Yeah. He's, he's trying to design one of them for us to be able to put a tank on the back of it. Oh, okay, that's cool. Just well, so I, know, I noticed you guys did a couple of tanks the other day, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Tanks are fun. Yeah, it's more a paint one. job They've that I find. Fun. I just I tend to find quite dull, and it's and it's more my own lack of imagination because there's actually loads of weathering detail that you put on a tank um, yeah. to make it look like it's been you know beaten up a little bit or you know or whatever. So there's, there's actually it. loads of detail you put in. And I think with tanks as well, like you say, if it doesn't print perfect, I don't think it makes a difference. You can kind of yeah, because you can pass it off as damage. damage. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you can. So, I've yeah. been playing about with that 10k printer. So oh, I did uh I did this mask. Nice. Really cool. Let's see if I can actually get that to focus. Hold on. There you go. And then I did like a rub and buff on it. That's nice that. And it just like it just came out. And this is the thing that I really so I, I said I, we did it. We did a review on it, obviously, and I said like it's made me fall in love with resin printing again. When I when I had my photon, it was aggro. You know, it's 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 you know to 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 get to get ahead, I would normally get a couple of fails. The details were good, but they were a little bit splodgy because this was still like a two K RGB screen that I had on my photon. Um, the the build volume was not large, so I could do a head, but um, but I couldn't do a head if it had hair because it literally didn't fit. So I couldn't do that. So like so, it just sort of limited what I could and couldn't do. Um, and I just sort of yeah, I just I just got I was like super over it. I was just like yeah, I'm just not into resin printing. Like I prefer doing stuff on FDM, which wasn't true because no one's ever printed anything and gone. Oh, I'd like a worse version of this. It 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 makes it really tedious with a small resin printer. You know, if if you're doing like a Photos Mint bust, that mm. that'll fit on there fine, and it'll take X amount of time to do it, and and it looks good. But like like you say, if you're printing something that's big breaking it up and having to you know assemble the whole thing it's tedious especially yeah, when you can buy a printer for, for a couple of hundred quid they can get away so with it. hold on one second so um so fifth scale is just asking where can i get a rat rig kit in the states so there's two places that i know of where you can buy rat rigs in the us the official places are fabrico so f-a-b-r-e-e-k-o and squish works so s q u i s h w o r x those yeah, two places are the only places that i know of that you can um that you can buy an official rat rig kit um if you can't find the US. The, is it fabrico you look for ldo motors as well because that's his website i think yeah i think he's actually got fabrico.com i can't remember um but these yeah. guys yeah i know there's a couple uh started doing it now because like prusa have moved in with a company now haven't they in america as well they have indeed they have indeed 
Yeah, Fabrico, they do. Here we go. What have they got? Yeah, here we go. On the on their website. If you go to 3D printers on there, they've got they've got rat rig. But to be fair, at the moment, they've actually only got um Is it the minion? The big minion kit. They yeah. actually haven't got the uh they I think haven't that's their got first venture with it, I believe. With yeah, rat rig. Maybe. So then I guess because mod I guess after in a that, you'd thing. have to go to um rat rig well I, I i don't know whether let me try squish works and just let me see whether or not they've got see they've got the v minion as well but i don't know that they've actually got i don't know That's whether or not they've actually got the v core i think they just do the v minion and prusia cell vorons okay prusia cell vorons that's unusual. Uh, uh, I don't think they do. Oh, right. they bought printed solid. Right. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, you, so you can you can go to um, if you go if you go to the Rat Rig website, you can reach out to their sales team and ask them, and they'll they, they, they normally respond pretty quickly. I think they're based in Spain. I think they're based in Spain. Hey, Andrew. Hello, Andrew. Hey, Andrew. Well, well, Printed Solid were doing quite well, weren't they? They're buying like companies in America. Mm. And they kept getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. Uh, and I think they were pushing with Portugal. Well. That's it. Yeah, Portugal, not Spain. Yeah, you're right. It's on. It's in the same place-ish. <laughs> well, I mean, a different country. So I, mean, I think I think the Portuguese would would fight pretty fervently to claim that they aren't Spanish. One of, one of the only things I know about Portugal is they legalised all drugs. Right. That's a very bold move on their part. Yeah. Although there is nothing else to do in Portugal, so it's not really a massive shot. No, there isn't. I have been to Portugal before people think I'm just uh, just sort of slagging it off for no, no material reason. Um, but at the same time, it is awful. <laughs> like it's real boring. There's nothing there. <laughs> Except a whole bunch of orange farms. A whole bunch of orange farms. See, if, if, if you're starting out listing things to do by saying, well, we've got lots of orange farms, you already know the place you're looking at is garbage. Like, if that's your number one, your number one is bragging about the number of oranges that we have. Like, like... The oranges Not were that big. The oranges are giant. You have to see Google, Google. We have other payment. stuff, but check out the oranges first. And they make lots, they of, make cork. lots of cork. But they don't make cork. They grow cork. And then... Don't they, is it import from Portugal? Yeah, they can cork themselves now. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you just tell me what I think you just told me, which is that after that 15 minutes, huh? this, this has failed. Because if you have... No, you haven't. Right. Okay, fine. So is there a WP Rat OS WPA supplicant? So I can just so that, 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 and that. Oh, hey Mike. Why is Mike today not on busy? No, so Mike's headphones have broken and we still haven't finished his garage yet. So um, so we need to uh, let's get this in the back of this machine and then we can finally turn it on 33 minutes into the stream. Well done, us. It's almost a record. Oh, well, that's very difficult to get in, isn't it? There we go. Right. Let's plug this in and hope that it doesn't, you know, explode. Kaboom. Eyes on. Let's see what it does. So obviously it's going to take a few minutes because it now needs to, uh, it now needs to write the OS. I assume. Preparing your control board after, right. So first of all, the first thing you do then is you 
for right the image there, 16 gig or larger. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Uh, when the right OS has been written to the SD card, insert it into the Pi, turn the Pi on. After a few minutes, the Pi will host a hotspot called rat os join the hotspot on your phone pc or laptop with wi-fi the password is raspberry uh, when connected open bloody blah and follow the steps presented Paul, there Paul, paul's how asking you... have you flashed the octopus i have not do i need to do that first it does not say to do that I thought I thought the whole point was that I thought the whole point was that um, download the firmware beta from the Octa from the firmware binaries folder found on the machine page of Mainsell. Yeah, no. So the first thing you do is you set up the Pi. Sinister says go with what the website instructions because he did. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You do the pie first. Trying to trip me up. <laughs> right, okay. So then the next thing we need to do then, I assume, is we need to see whether or not we have... Paul, have you, um, have you, up, have you done the 3.1 on your uh, rat rig yet? Really could it? So this says the Pi will host a hot after a few minutes. The Pi will host a hotspot called Rat OS. Well, that isn't true, but I did put in the WPA supplicant to say to connect to my Wi Fi, so it may have already done that. So let's see if it's on my. Let's see if it's in my Wi-Fi devices. What are you eating, Carl? Chocolate peanuts. Ah. Oh. So has anyone seen the new um, the new files from Wicked 3D yesterday? Oh, they're so wow. good. Like, wow. I, 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 I mean, hands down, when it comes to models of that size... Wicked is putting out, hands down, they are putting out the best models that I have that I have seen. Yeah, like, like I, I haven't, I haven't, like I haven't seen anybody else putting out consistently models of that quality week on week. I, I was looking at the uh, the the pictures of the Black Widow one, and they've actually got the the, the spots on her face, you know, that she actually has in real life just and 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 what is it a bust and a statue of each this this month so you got captain america statue and a captain america bus it's just <coughs> incredible the detail well the first thing we should learn is that i want someone to model me an ultra instinct goku life size uh, Goku is from uh, Dragon Ball Z, I think. Oh, never watched it in my life. Yeah, but uh, neither. neither have uh, neither have I. They've got a lot of their, the Fantastic Four on Wicked 3D, haven't they, as well now? Yeah, they've done a lot of them. Like the stretch one looks quite good. Like his arms, you know, overly stretched on his on yeah. the, on the back. Yeah, Andrew, yeah, you're probably right. There's, there's got to be a model out there. I've seen loads of people printing those Goku models, but I'm still running the original Pet G parts on an enclosed system. Prints ABS, ASA, like a dream. Right, well, the good news is the Pi has booted. So is it connecting so, to this? So, Paul, do you do you print abs and all that for like people's orders for like vorons or rat rigs or anything like that because i know on their discord the voron there's people that actually sell the printed parts which i think is quite nice because if you were getting a carbon x1 that would be an ultimate printer wouldn't it to be able to print out asa a abs and all that for people with the vorons <laughs> <laughs> And like Polymaker keep 
having massive reductions on ABS and all them lot for the ball on community. Mm. I'm just getting myself some TPU. Yeah. I'm probably make a still work last... on that, just doing personal stuff. Around, yeah, last week I won on Lord Moza show three times Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I, and, and you sleep <laughs> never. And you just stay up to win filament. Would it not be better to like try and get two hours sleep and then like, you know. I sleep whenever I can sleep, you know. And Okay, uh, fifth scale yeah, RC is key. I do some ASA parts of Voron sometimes, but I love my two V two. That's it. The amount of people like on the Discord that actually do it. It's, I think it's quite a clever idea, actually. It's like sixty quid TPU, I think. What I order. What you mean that you won yeah so it hasn't cost you 60 quid no is it white no black oh. are you using it for the i want to do the death racer okay so, so want... that's why i'm saving it up for you you do realize that it doesn't actually use that much tpu for the tracks I know, but I want to make multiple ones. Yeah, you. No, I have no. more than one nephew. <laughs> have you seen the part prices? I'm making two of them, and I nearly shit myself. <laughs> like how much? Are they really that expensive? Yeah, the, the the motors that they use, because obviously, so they got the pro version and they got the normal one, and they need to be of a certain tolerance, you know, because obviously the pro one does sixty miles an hour wow really and, and did you uh did, on his TikTok yesterday you know those little um plastic cars the kids have you know like the the red hooded ones where they use their legs to get around with yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Had, he's put tracks on that and he had it driving around in his back garden <laughs> oh yeah i've seen that and so like the i think the motors are about 30 40 quid each you're looking at about 40 pound for the controller with the receiver that's not including the, the soldering you've got to do, all the kill switches. You know, you're probably looking at about a hundred pounds. Oh, why put kill switches in? It kind of defeats the object. I know. Why can't I find a simple and easy place to input my... Does anyone know the thread pitch for the Rapido hot end? I don't. Do you know, James? No. No, not off the top of my head, no. I feel like I'm being blind. There must yeah, be yeah. a place where I can go in and set the Wi-Fi, right? So this, when James went off looking for a plug, uh, a, a, an SD card. So this is my nephew's birthday tomorrow, and this has just come off my print. Nice. So he likes Ghostbusters, so I did a quick green at oh, the back this time. Cool. So I, so how, I was going to say, did you do did you do a filament change to? Yeah, um, yeah, I yeah. Was going to say, right, fair enough. So it did like a, a really like fluorescent green. Actually, the green that I won on your one K giveaway. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. We're using that to this day. It's still going well, but yeah, I did a red, and then just did a quick change just for the ghost to stick out a little bit. Not bad. Took me ten minutes to design. Not bad. Yeah. I use white as well, Matt, as you can see. So Not for an amateur oh, designer. Okay. So open okay, so that's why. So I've gone to the wrong thing because I don't pay attention. Mm. So we go rat OS dot local forward slash configure i'm having to do this on my phone because i run to um i run to um wi-fi's at my house and i've just realized i've connected this to the one that my pc is not currently connected to so appreciate is pretty stupid oh no that's saying that i am now given an option to change it give me one second just let me grab the uh let me grab the wi-fi password give me I'm going to go and grab these um, balloon dogs so people can have a quick 
look at them if they haven't seen them yet. Matt, keep talking. <laughs> oh, that was guys. a very, very sinister laugh, Matthew. I want you to know that, that it upsets people. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we German it's very, anyone at home people? who is listening with just earphones in, just yeah. absolutely, absolutely lost themselves in there. Thank the host name right now. Yeah, fine, got it. It haunts your dreams. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> haunts your. I don't know. I don't know if it haunts your dreams. It's quite unsettling. It sounds times. like PTSD to me. Fair. Right, let's see if you will now. Come on. This is one of my elephant hunting dogs. Cool. So now neither of you connect. Well, that's easily the worst outcome I could have expected from that. <laughs> Right, we'll let that boot again. Living the dream. Yeah, that's my villain dog. <laughs> She's actually mean. Right? Hello. So, yeah. So That's the sausage dog. Oh, yeah, that cool. <laughs> Buddha. Is that really? like, I was going to say that's the Buddha one, yeah. So what's um, that in? Sorry. So is so that, that, that one. copper one? Is that in? Uh, is that in Iono's filament? Uh, Iwi color. Pardon? Uh, a company called Iwi color that I've been working with. Oh, okay. So they've just come to the market, um, and this is a copper, gold, and you can actually see the backs in gold. And it's more copper at the front. It's come out quite nice, to be honest. The support's come up quite well. And then, obviously, this is the, the pooping dog. But they're quite simple, but they are quite quite fun to print. Yeah. So, the kids want them. I'm sure they'll be in the recycling bin in a week. And they are three on fangs as well. Right. Now I have to have a look. There's a cat one on there as well, Matt, you might like. And a rabbit. Do they, oh, they, print, do they print with supports or without? With supports. Right. There's a couple of Yoda ones uh, doing Yoda, which I probably think you can get away with no supports. But the, the like this one had a bit of support under its chin. Uh, right. Um, I can't remember, Carl. Are you getting one of the bamboo labs? Me, no. Unfortunately, not. That's a shame. I wish. Yeah, I, I would have yeah, had me too. I feel like we've got to call that out a second. Andrew has to go. Because he has to brush the cat. Is that code? And I, 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 I got to tell you, it a hundred percent sounds like a euphemism for going away and having so, a little tickle <clears> with <throat> Johnson. Yeah. Like I don't know another adult man who's ever said the words to me. I've needed to go and brush the cat without it either meaning that he's got a real tricky poo brewing, or, <laughs> or that, or that he's just gone away to have himself a. To have himself a quiet moment. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would have had fun with a bamboo lab. I think, like the, uh, so, so, so we we are we are very lucky um, in the um, in the one of our uh, one of our uh, long time Stalkers. sponsors is uh, is is helping us out, and we're gonna we're gonna get one of the bamboo labs. Yeah. So, um, so that's obviously going to be really cool because they are a, lot a game of changer. They are a game changer. They're, look, I mean, I'm not. I, I, I don't want to fall into the Prusa trap. 
right? I don't want to fall into the trap of saying, oh, well, this is this is all I'm ever going to need, right? This is all I'm ever going to, uh, this is all I'm ever going to mess about with, or this is, yeah. this is all I'm ever, this is the last printer that ever needs to be made, or the last printer that ever needs to, that I'm ever going to need to, to get in the, get in the shop. And I don't think it's, it's the answer to the future of 3D printing either. I think that, that no. answer changes every six months. And, and, and what I am excited about, about is what it means. Yeah, and they because they were talking about obviously it's only two five six, isn't it? Cube. Yeah, and yeah, they, yeah. And yeah. saying if it was three hundred cube, that it it could have been in the the thousands of pounds, not absolutely pounds, because yeah. obviously the parts need to be bigger, the doors yeah. need to be bigger, everything needs to be bigger. And it's interesting because they've obviously so they did their. Um, so we're getting the carbon with the AMS with the with the uh, with the multi material system. Yeah. Um, but the cut so the carbon is an aluminium frame with an aluminium body. Yeah. But the regular X one isn't plastic. It's plastic. So that to me opens up a bunch of other options as to heated building closures and yeah. things like that. And I'm quite interested to see what the. I'm quite interested to see what the um, community are going to do. What the community mm. starts doing with it. So I've already seen that there was an issue where some of the uh, park calling fans that are inside fell off. So they're yeah. attached with VHB tape, which is normally, to be fair, once you stick something on with VHB tape, it's staying on. Um, but I don't know if it's a combination of the vibration or the heat or shipping or whatever. Um, and that, that VHB has been, um, has been failing and they're and inside of a day, they, um, they, that someone had made a literally like a caddy thing for the, for it to sit in. Yeah. And that's, and, the, and I've been reading, people have been having problems with, um, in the AMS unit with putting the filament spools in saying oh, that, okay. um, like obviously they've been trying different manufacturers and they've been having certain problems with certain ones and so on and so on but um a company that i chat with they just released a pi sheet as well for the carbon one really that's interesting yeah. okay I'll, I'll, I'll send you the link for it um because it's a double-sided one as well for it right so, it's got, so got of, of all the things i've seen people complain about the build surface yeah. He's probably one of the more consistent things. There's a couple of people who've said they've had clogs, and those clogs have been incredibly difficult to um, to to try and to try and remove. Um, and well, as well, we well, are not just Brian throwing Bain away said. a nozzle when you've got a clog. Yeah. So Brian Bain, uh, Vines did say on his video that glue stick will be your best friend for this printer for the yeah. bed. But then when you look at the price of the parts mm -hmm. for it. Like the whole yeah. pot, it's it's cheaper than buying a Creality one for a Creality printer. It's cheap, and I, I don't know what shipping is going to be like for for it, but the, the spare parts are quite cheap. I find. Yeah. Yeah, Polymaker doesn't fit. Yeah. So okay, I have clicked the compile firmware thing. It's done that. There's a folder called <coughs> firmware binaries. Open that folder and I'm find your the... board. So we click that, and we one go of, one to. Of the I like the, the carbon as well. There's not a lot of bleeding. You know, in the colours changing. So oh, I just you know, get a whole bunch of new hot ends. Like, Sorry. Like, like when you watch someone with like a, a, the filament change and like the MMUs and all that, there's always a little bit of a bleed with the colours. Like yeah. The blue, the white. With the carbon, it's so crisp. Like the, you can literally see it in a picture. Yeah. And you. So there was a, he did the he did that he did that baboon didn't he the baboon yeah. face that was like that was all six colours and filament frenzy. Oh. Yeah. Like it it popped like yeah. it popped. The only thing is, is that to me, the purpose of having an AMS or indeed a, a sort of a multi-material tool head rather than something that or like if you were to use an IDEX, for example, is that 
you shouldn't have to have the poop shoe. The yeah. poop shoe and the purge block, th that's really disappointing to me. Um, My next big project is I want to get a IDEX printer. Right. You want to get an IDEX? Yep. So what did you have already, sorry? What I have? I have uh, g yeah, and, yeah. and Focus, I you, yeah. I, I just, I, yeah, sorry, I, I thought you... I thought you had a G-Tech with two colours. Yes, but uh, oh, I took it off. I modified it and uh, it only made it white. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course. Uh, well, well, you, did, you literally modified to... it to not do that, did you? You didn't. I took it off the hot end because I had, I got annoyed with the hot end because uh, it it's takes crap. too much maintenance. Yeah, it's, it's crap. crap. It's crap. Yeah, yeah. Too, I admit it. It's crap. Into one hot end is a joke. Doesn't it's, work. It's too I much mean, maintenance. Look, I mean, to the best of my knowledge, the one that's on the um, the one that's on the G Tech. It isn't that different from the ones that are on Creality's, right? They're they're basically the same. Yeah, one's polished. Right, it's still okay. a third at the end of the day. Right, okay, fair the, enough. The uh, fact, so, that's the fact, asking. so the fact, like, like companies now, like the is it the E3D? They've got ones that fit straight into Creality ones now, like their new nozzles. They fit straight on, you know. And you're talking what sixty, seventy pounds. For a nozzle that could last right. the years yeah it's it's not so a lot of money very quickly sorry so just so we're clear you go in so this I, i'm actually quite impressed with how well this is working at the moment so this is this is this is pretty good so right now you go into the dashboard you prep there's um there is a script at the bottom called compile firmwares it goes through and compiles the firmware you go into machine. There's a folder called firmware binaries. You pick the firmware for your particular um, for your particular board. You right click and click download. You rename that file to firmware bin. Put it on an SD card, and then you pop that and you power cycle the. Uh, you pop that in the machine, and then you power cycle. So let's do that. Fifth scale. What size R two D two you doing? You're doing the full size one. Yeah, Paul, the 10 log TLD3 Pro is quite good. Okay. Uh, Matt Farmer's got one actually, Matt. If he, I'm sure he'll be able to tell you. He did the um, the Coil Dragon, whatever one it was on, on there. Full size. Nice. I won't be getting one. I use a ton of Polymaker ABS. I maybe have 30 spools right now. I have to print my R2-D2. And then I've got to print my son, his Iron Man suit. That's a real shame. And it's a shame that Polymaker doesn't fit it. Do Polymaker sell spoolless filament? No. Do they, they, don't, they don't sell it where you no. can use your own spool? No. So they've, they've just released uh, three kilogram spools in cardboard. And they've got five kilogram coming out with cardboard. So... It looks like they can. Yeah, so the problem the is, is that ultimately you're so I would imagine 3DP UK wouldn't work in it. Um, no. Your basic filaments will work. So, like Sunloos, E Suns, so, all that so stuff. This is, that'll all. So, this is a Sunloo one that's uh, a yeah, master sport. I was say, yeah. Um, and that works quite well, to be honest. It saves me a couple of quid when you order it. Yeah. And it just means that I'm not throwing as much plastic in the bin. Once a week, mm. is that, yeah. But the uh, yeah, the polymaker ones on the cardboard are nice though. I I'm sure they should be able to trim them spools down a little bit, you know, just to be able to fit. And I'm sure it's just the diameter size, isn't it? Like, it can't be that hard to make them a little bit smaller because isn't it that that size, that depth that's a problem? Yeah, the master spools, yeah. I'm sure Polymaker would do something to make sure it does fit in eventually. They're quite, um, they're quite proactive, aren't they, Polymaker? Verify the firmware has been flashed and do not leave the SD card in the board after successful flashing. Okay. Seems like a really specific thing to say, but fine. 
Yeah, you can I just mean, restore I... it non-stick, but... Well, yeah, but I mean, if you're doing an R2 unit, like, an R2 unit has got to be using a lot of filament. Like, you've, you've got your, your... Surely you're talking about... Um, surely you're talking about sort of multiple kilos of filament at that point. Yeah. Um, is it many, many kilos, sorry. I would imagine that I would imagine that for an R2, you're probably looking at about 30 kilos. Can you imagine re-spooling 30 kilos of filament just so you could use the bamboo lab? Paul says, check the SD card. It should be firmware doc C U R. Yeah, I've just done that. Yeah. I think it's so at least 50 10 scale, spools. 10 spools. Yeah. That, that's how, how many how many days or weeks will that take to print? Because I know Sam did his on his CR10, didn't he? To begin with. I think it took him like. Uh, days well, he did it on his. To be fair, just to be clear, he did it on his CR10, but he did it on his S5. Yeah, that's yeah, the S5. Yeah, yeah, yeah he had a, he had a CR10 S5, so he had a 500 by 500. That, to be fair, that was actually how Sam initially started working with Rat Rig. So the the real Sam Prentice that we're talking yeah. about for anybody who doesn't know him. Um, so um, so he bought a 500 by 500 Rat Cube because this is what he needed he needed to be able to print at like 250 yeah to really and it and it meant that his his he went i mean overnight he went from um he you know he went from uh thanks paul from, he sorry, did man. um you know when spring was working at gtech Mm -hmm. Yes. So Spring had Sam on on Christmas Day, actually. Not this Christmas. Yeah, I remember Christmas that. Before. He was a guest on there. And that's how I first found out about Sam through like the G Tech Christmas thing. Um, Because he, he did a lot of mods, didn't he, on his S5, though? Yes, he did. Yeah. And, yeah. And, a and, lot. And, I believe, and I believe they still print really well today for him. But obviously, he's, he's got a few rat rigs now, hasn't he? And he's got. Uh, so I think he's got he's got two V core threes and he's got the minion. He's got the minion. Um got... and and Rat Rig have sent him the stuff to upgrade his V core threes yeah. to three point ones. But I think he's got two V cores. He's got the five hundred, hasn't he? Four hundred. Pardon? I think he's got the four hundred, hasn't he? And the five hundred. I think he's got a four and a five. I think he bought yeah. the five and they sent him the four. Yeah. If I remember rightly. I'm sure but it is, I'm yeah. Happy to be corrected. I'm not. Yeah. I'll be right back, guys. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, because um because obviously like a lot of the content creators in America, they're all getting like the the Dominion at the moment, aren't they? Off Rat Rig. Yeah. So obviously with uh, LDO stopping it. Um, I've yes. got to say, I'm really yeah, impressed yeah, yeah. with that. It looks a really, really solid, like you know, small size printer. You know, compares against the Voron V1 or V01. Yeah, it it looks nice. It looks like it's had a lot of work done. But I'm just updating all of my uh, back end binaries because no everything fail. is out of date. So fifth scale saying about two weeks. Or printing if with no fails. That's not bad. That's not bad. So I know a couple of guys who are running, um, who are running, admittedly heavily modified um, S fives, and they run them commercially. Because to be fair, if you needed something above three hundred for quite some time, the CR ten S four and the S five really were your only options. So then um, G Create brought out the Raptor and the T-Rex, I think it was. And they were like beefed up versions. Um, but yeah, but like they, you know, they, 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 there was, so, a, there was a lot of, there was a so lot of people running S4s. So Mine C Tech is waiting for the IDEX, you know, for his V Core 400 and money to spend. Yes. On. And look, I, I, I'm in two minds. One, because I will have only just finished building this by the time that that thing comes out. And whether or not my soul could take dismantling this and like, and, and, and like, I don't know that it could, if I'm perfectly honest. So, um, so first of all, there's that. Um, but then there's also the fact that because I'll have the, 
because I'll have the um, the bamboo lab, the question would be, would I need an IDEX enough to modify this? Because surely once you put that extra carriage on this machine without it being a tool changer, whichever way you look at it, you have increased the mass on the uh, on the on the x axis and therefore you're you know you're 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 moving backwards and forwards way more weight or sorry on the y axis i should say you're 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 moving forwards and back way more weight than you were before which would mean you'd have to drop your speed wouldn't you the whole reason why we got like the so we got the lgx light on ours and the whole reason we got the lgx light was literally for that, so it was as light as humanly possible. But but, but obviously, with like the, the rat rigs, the amount of filament that it actually holds on the beds, it's got to have some strength. You could, you know, like people are doing full size R two D twos. If you got three, four kilograms on that bed moving down, there's got to be some strength there for it to be able to do that. So I suppose the thing to remember is that when you're dealing with a rat, when you're dealing with a rat rig the weight of whatever's on the bed doesn't really matter as much because the only thing it's ever doing is moving it down. Yeah. Um, and um, oh, Vive Dino made the T-Rex and the Raptor. G-Create made the G-Max and the G-Max Plus. That made, yeah, fair enough. Um, apparently, non, apparently Nonstick said he might let you do a conversion on his 600 by 600 by 600 Troxy for the channel. Well, I mean, I hope that by conversion, you mean take it apart and then immediately throw it in the bin. Like, it doesn't seem like a great conversion, but I mean, I'm assuming that's the conversion you're talking about. Just turn it into a sofa non-stick in the shed. It'd be fine. It basically is. It's just a really terrible cupboard at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so as Paul was, as, as Paul alluded to, the, the, the weight that's on a bed when you're talking about something like this, it, it, it doesn't really matter because right. you're not moving it backwards and forwards. So on a bed slinger, like on an S400 or an S5, because you're moving the model backwards and forwards, the more the heavier the model means that you're now moving the mass of the model more, more and more and more. What I'm saying is if you were to add a second extruder yeah. to, the, to this X rail, then when this moves front and back, it's going to be moving twice the amount of extruder weight. Yeah, and but it does shift though, doesn't it? Imagine if you could only print it yeah. out 150 of an IDEX. Yeah, 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 absolutely. It's still quicker than anything that's out there. Yeah. See, yeah. Paul's well, mentioned okay. the, the Fico 3 200. I've not seen a lot about them yet. They seem seem popular again, but I've not seen a lot of content about them yet. About what? Sorry, the 3 the 200. Oh, what, the, yeah, the smaller ones. The 200, yeah. I'm not going to say there's no need for them, right? Because there is. If you don't have this kind, I mean, this is the 400 cube, right? Um, so, um, so like, so this is obviously a very large machine. If you were to get the 300, unsurprisingly, it's smaller. Um, and I think you'd really, make, it would be a lot easier for you to get, um, it would be a lot easier for you to get panels cut for the right size. It'd be a lot easier for you to um, to get a lot done. That would be that would be slightly easier for this. Um, the two hundred. Hmm, I don't know. Have I ever used, say, an Ender three or a Hornet, or you know, or even you know, some something like that at two three five, like the longer LK four Pros, and been like, oh yeah, I wish I could run this at like three hundred and fifty millimeters a second. I just don't really know. Yeah, because yeah, I've, I've got the Ender 2 Pro, and it's uh, 180 by 180 by 180. Right. I didn't think I'd actually use it as much, because obviously it's a bit smaller. But it's actually a really useful printer. Like with the, the Minion, imagine that, you know, the smaller parts, the time you'd be able to get them off. Yeah. And the quality is not like it's like the four ones, isn't it? The B zero ones. The quality that are coming off people's printers there. Yeah, yeah, they are. And don't be wrong. I really, I really liked our. Uh, I really liked the the V core V. Uh, the, the not the V core. Sorry. Oh, I really liked the the Voron V zero. V zero. Like it was good. It was. Um, but yeah, I don't know. 
just wasn't my jam, I don't think. The problem was, is it was, for us, it was just too small. We'll come out of a commercial V0 size speed printer. But what would be the point? A commercial V0, right? So the V0 is like 120 by 120 by 150, I think. I can't remember. I can't even remember when we wow, did ours. That's big. Um, it's small. Oh. It fits through any door in my house. Mate, it could fit through your cat flap. That's not the point. If that's all your... <laughs> <if> that's... <laughs> That's your only requirement that it fits through a door. This fits through a door. Like that's a terrible requirement. I said it was yeah. one meter twenty. Oh, sorry. He was replying to Paul's comment. If you're buying a five hundred, you need to make sure where you put it because once it's built, it won't fit through the door. Yeah, yeah. yeah sorry, that's fair enough. I thought you were talking about the V zero. I was like, fits through anywhere. <laughs> it's really easy to to move that. Like that's not a problem. Yes, Ham had a problem with that. He built it in his room. Didn't he put it through his window? Then on the end, like open up I his window. And... I know that he had a lot of problems with it. Like it was, and it was genuinely an issue. Yeah, because you, like you, you picture it in your head, don't you? The size of it, because obviously the bed is big. But then you don't picture it with the frame on, do you? Really, like when you're planning, I'm going to build this yeah. here, and you just don't kind of think that far. It's a bit, a bit crazy. The enclosed print for ABS, sorry. that's like the UPN. See, so like, obviously I've got, so Creality released the picture actually before, a couple of days ago, of a new printer they're releasing. Surprise, surprise. And I love my CR200B because it's an enclosed printer and it does really well. I think they've upgraded this one and it now feeds filament from inside the enclosure. I made it a little bit bigger by the looks of it. Okay. Which would be be quite a nice step forward by them. Uh, they've got an Ender 5 remix coming out. Don't know why. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just look at Sovel's new one. They've just released the uh, SV05. Yeah. That's a, that's an Ender 5 lookalike. Right, okay. I no longer have got a new machine coming out, um, yeah. which is there. They're sort of their new LK4 printer. Um, again, it's just it's just too small. That's the problem, really. Well, I've got I've got their 4K resin printer coming. Oh, okay. Um, and it is quite, and it's it's only a little bit bigger than the Orange 30 in the Z height by 20 millimeters. Right. So it, it doesn't give much more size. But a 4K screen on that printer would be like the details should be amazing. Mm. It apparently goes because the way they do the screen, it goes down to 31.5 ums. But for a small printer, I think that's quite good. It's not bad. So it'd be, not it'd be bad. quite interesting to see. So I'm having an issue at the moment which is that I have clicked on the, so it says that I click on the, on the dashboard and main cell, you see three macros in the macro section. I clicked vCore three config. I clicked that button. Um, this is now navigate to the machine page. There's a list of files among them is the print edit. This is where the clip uh, pre-populated, right? But mm, yeah, so, it's not the end. Uh, here we go. The MCU is unable to connect once the underlying issue is corrected. So what if we go to troubleshooting? What does it say? Double check your USB connection. Try the other cable. The one that comes with the board usually works. Check your firmware was flashed correctly. I have Use the compile. But no, I'm not doing that again. uh okay right so let's check our connections then i guess but i'm pretty sure they haven't changed since six minutes ago they have not 22 microns on the mini 8k um 
I, I get I get all this, you know, like these these microns and all that. I don't really like I've got two four Ks and I've got a two K and without putting it under a microscope, I can't see any difference. Oh no, 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 I can see the difference. Like for sure. So if I if I put 2K and 4K is it, it like is is pretty like I can I can definitely see the difference and then I can definitely see the difference when I look at the 8K like the crispness yeah. of the details on my models it's it's night and day night and day obviously I need to get right. my eyes retested then mm. I just I, should, I mean like, it, I've done some photos mint ones on the the orange 30 and the, yeah. the detail the, it's crisp you know, I can't really bolt it, but like, I can't like look at it. Maybe I just need to do two of the same models in the same resin and see what it looks like. I would give it a go because I think you might be surprised at how much yeah. difference you can actually see. I'm I've just trying to see if I can get this to. Three shit, 106, it's the same design as the trucks. Are deep one. Yeah, two trees have got, they've got a few. 3D printers out at the moment. I think they've got a new one coming out as well soon again. Paul Lawson, Paul, uh, you can take uh, a few attempts about... to connect. James Paul says mm -hmm. he says it can take a few attempts to connect. Well, that's great. Mm. What a fun feature. Uh, what I wanted to say is, uh, I've been streaming also right now on. Uh, Charity makers, and oh, right, right yeah, now yeah. there is the uh, IDEX on the video. Is that the one? I think that's the pro version, maybe. If you have a look, maybe let me know. Astro printer. So, so fifth scale, what, what kind of resin printers do you want? Do you want a big build plate, or are you looking for something to do like parts for the R2D2? Or because at the moment, like. There's some serious cheap, like 4K resin printers at the moment. Mm. I think, uh, yeah. I mean, I would, I would be inclined to say that 4K is is enough for anybody. I don't get 2K anymore. I, I get think until you rent. until you start getting up to 10.1s and and bigger screens. I don't. I don't personally think you need to do much more than than uh, than four. I don't think four K is really that that much difference. Yeah. So I, what I, I what I will say is I will I will agree with you, Carl. To be fair, that there isn't much of a difference, and I'll probably be strung up for this when you're on a when you're on a six inch screen. Going between two K and four K can be really difficult to tell the difference sometimes and 4k and 8k it's, it's almost impossible to tell the difference because it's all down to pixel density there's yeah. so many pixels packed in one place it's only so much resolution that they can actually make a material but, difference in when they're printing so like compare like you've got the m3 max and i've got the, mm -hmm. the mono x and the mono x is twice as fast as printing as the the m3 max right like Obviously, James, you know, with his little printing business, the amount of, he's got the Mono X and it just leaves the M3 in its way. You know, the yeah, ability yeah. to print at. Yeah, that I get a Mono X. You've got a Mono X. Where? So you've got the Mono X 4K, the smaller one, haven't you? Oh, yeah, 4K. Yeah, it's a small one, yeah. Okay. And, and to be honest, that was, that was, I think, about 150 quid not long ago, that. On the any cubic sale, like no, the, I got that the one from any cubic. So the any cubic mono X, and they have got a six K of that version, and that's been reduced a little bit at the moment. You know, like I've have you seen the new two uh, any cubic D two? Have you seen any content on that yet, James? On the what one? Sorry, you know the new dental one off any cubic the D two. I haven't seen anything on that. So if you go on, you know, it's your boy Ben on TikTok. Yep. He's put some adverts on there on his channel. And my God, like the detail. And that's really? a two, and it's a 2K screen. 
just that's cool wow like he's done like a couple of the test prints off the the, the sd card and just like yeah the crisp the detail just on that printer the m3 max is 7k isn't it i'm sure it's seven the m34 no. m6 the plus is six isn't it i'm not sure i think the max is actually six the upgraded yeah, the m3 max. Up. I'm sure the original the was a six is then later on the switched to a seven because oh it's six k yeah so four five yeah so the plus is five or was it five to six k because i know uh, they have some issues with uh, yes, getting um, the screens for the printer so instead of getting uh the 5k one they get, get themselves the 6k one i think yeah see like i could potentially buy a 6k screen for the mono x and just pull it into this and it should potentially just uh, work. probably not you need firmware I, I yeah well obviously i need to change the firmware but it should be the same board uh depends on which board they put in it so certain I'm, g2 boards little, can only yeah. do certain out because it's a g2 board it's a g2 machine isn't it uh, i'm not I sure i think it's got a g2 board in it yeah possibly yeah but the so, thing so, is oh. so 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 the the, the g2 boards are gated so so um so like they certain ones will only do up to a certain resolution yeah um so you might the resolution is fixed on it it's not the resolution is fixed it's that it can only go up to a certain amount so like yeah. so for example a board that would take both a 2k and a 4k screen fine but um but it won't do say it's 6k or 8k because it's not uh, powerful enough to run it yeah. a bit I'm like to be fair that. not entirely unlike a pi right if you buy a pi 3b a pi 3b can output in 4k yeah but a pi 3b cannot do an output display in 8k i don't even know if a four if a four can actually that might be an interesting little bit of research to do then hmm. i might do that so I know that when, so when Photon first brought theirs out, when they brought out the Anycubic Photon, you could do an upgrade to a 2K mono screen. That was an yeah. easy drop-in replacement. Um, but you couldn't do <coughs> a, uh, I'm pretty sure you couldn't do a 4K upgrade without changing the main board. I'm pretty sure. I'll have a look. So here's a question. How do I know which one of my boards it is? Because there's two Octopus 1.1s here. There's an Octopus 1.1 and there's an Octopus 1.1407. This says that mine's a DC22424. So I assume that that's that that's the one that it is that it's the one that was selected, which is which was the original one. But this is just refusing to connect at the moment. Nonset, have you been doing much on the resin printers lately? I think the last time we spoke, I think you sent, sent me a picture of one that you'd done. I've got um I've got the um I've got Yusu dual colored resin coming soon. And I don't get how that works. <laughs> it's magic. It's printed on the chip, which model it is. Oh, my eyes are not going to be able to see that. I've been, I've been pretending I don't need glasses for years, and you're exposing me live. Four, four, six. Four, four, six. What did that thing say? Machine printer 407. But this mm, that can't be right because that implies that it's an Octopus Pro and it isn't. Why 
Well, I mean, if it is written straight on the chip, I can't see where it says that. <laughs> do what I do, James. Take a picture with your phone and zoom in. That's how I have to do it these days. Well, I can read it. It's actually it's actually easier to read than I thought it was going to be. But like, okay. So, so, let's just so fifth scale. If you're looking for something to do, like parts for like an R two D two. I would look potentially at, in my opinion, 2K would be suffice to do the parts for that. So like a mono SE from Anycubic or a um, longer 3D orange. I was going to. I was going to say. I mean, it does depend on what your budget is. Um, that's the Octopus Pro if it's a 446, but it's not. It's an Octopus 1.1. Says it on the box. I would go so, with the mono 4K. No, I, I mean, I would be inclined to suggest the Mono X, but yeah, that's because right now there isn't a better value machine. Versus if you go for build volume versus but versus price point, there isn't a better value machine than the and it, uh, and the Mono it, Mono it, 4K came down quite a bit in and, price, but the, the Mono X is like kind of future proof because it's so big, like the build yeah. weight is big, so like you could buy one, but I think it's about 310 pounds at the moment. Considering they were like nearly a grand when they came out. If you're not looking at that and you want like the orange 30 from longer is like 110 pounds to 2k. But then you might find like I, I was I found when I had the mono SE a, a bit restricted, what like James was saying, like when he had the, the original photon, you kind of fall in love with a bit of resin printing. And then when you want to do bigger things, it's like, oh for God's sake, it doesn't fit. Yeah, three hundred and ninety dollars. That's that, that that's a bargain. Or the eight K. What size is the eight K then on stick? You got lucky they sent you a pro into a, a non pro box. You reckon? No, because the pro's actually got pro written on it. And does this it have it, um, it just does a it have big green octopus? Does it have jumpers between the stepper plugs and the steppers? Sorry, ask that question as if you were asking a child. So what? does it have <laughs> jumpers between the stepper plug and the steppers? Yeah, I think so. I'm look I'm looking now between the two and on an octopus pro. It clearly says Big Tree Tech Octopus Pro on it. If you look at the 1.1, it looks the way that mine does, which is says Big Tree Octopus, and then it's got a BQ logo down underneath it. So I'm, I'm so pretty confident says, the one I've got is that. The non-pro doesn't have the jumper leads, or the, ju the, the, the jumpers between the stepper plug and steppers. So I mean, if you've got looking the... At them, oh, okay, I see you. So fifth scale saying as well, he believes it's a pro. No, it's not. No, no, it's not. It's not the pro. I can no, I can I can see I can see where they I can see um what you mean. It's not the pro. So fifth scale, are you in America? Because if you are, our friend uh, Matt Farmer. He's always putting like resin printers, isn't he, on his Etsy store to get rid of them because he keeps getting so many. That is true. Yes, he and, is. And he's been getting, he's been getting rid of some really nice ones. So like he had the Harlot Plus, and I know it's Creality, but it does print really nice. Um, and it has got a time lapse function built into it now, and I think he sold that in like twenty four hours on his store. <coughs> so check. Oh, what's his group called? Is it Printing Noobs? Yeah, it's 3D printing for noobs. Yeah, so check that uh, fifth scale on Facebook. And um, if you go on TikTok as well, he does a lot on there. Akuma mods on TikTok. Um, he do, and and he, on Akuma mods on YouTube, he does a lot as well on resin printers. He's quite a good... Uh, he's my go-to if I'm having issues. Yeah, yeah. to be fair, Akuma mods is my is my go-to place whenever uh, whenever I'm having... And he, and whenever, whenever I'm having issues yeah. to the point at which I'm pretty sure he's sick of seeing me. 
24 <laughs> 70 answers. <laughs> yeah. He's he he busy, busy, actually. Yeah. He didn't have, he's lately busy. He didn't have a hangout for the last couple of weeks. So he does them on TikTok, Matt. Yeah, he does them all on TikTok now. He's on TikTok every day. Really? I didn't yeah. see that. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and to, I and don't even gave, have a thousand followers. <laughs> he's no, you can still see him live. Yeah, but you I should, cannot go on with him. Well, you're probably banned to be honest. Ah, oh, yeah, probably for showing ankle, especially <laughs> you know, putting the name German at the end. There's definitely a, a red flag for them. Uh, no, it's tucked off through the picture. I think I've got 1197, so does that mean I can go on lives with him? You have to have over a thousand, yeah. yeah. If you got yeah. over a thousand, you can go live with them. Oh, okay, fair enough. I didn't know that. Um, but I got speed settings actually off there, Matt, for the Harlot Plus, and it like took a print from 10 hours 30 minutes to four hours. And it I had a little bit of a failure on one part, but you couldn't tell the difference in the detail. Like he has like the time off, you know, the light off, he has zero. He says it's pointless having it on there. So like, all right, no worries. Right. Um and I actually got um shoe two box pro the other day as well, just to have a play with. Did you? Yeah, I don't nice. like it. You don't, don't like, like it. it? No. I don't oh, know if the one thing I... the one thing I will say is having used pro and having used like regular version the, the free yeah. version i don't honestly think that i can tell that much of a difference other than obviously like you know other than obviously like stuff's in different places and things i've i've got so used to using light g slicer pro version that it kind of it, it's yeah it does exactly what i want it to do and it's not shooting box just looks so boring I like it, it, it does what i will say so because, so i'm using i'm having to use blair slicer for um i know hey, um i'm having to use blair slicer for uh for the for the 10.1 inch 8k and that machine is awesome I'm, like, I'm like i really that, like that slicer i, I, like, I want to back that really like it. It. Uh, on a uh, kickstarter i think that might be my first big back on kickstarter yeah honestly it's it's uh they're coming out they're going live at the end of the month they've got a few <clears> other <throat> machines they've sent out to other places um i'm really i'm really excited to see what they what they do uh, fifth scale so on well facebook this is their first machine so on like their facebook ex, their ex um what's name engineers their ex um Nonstick, what's Matt's group on Facebook? Type it in for fifth scale because I can't, it's 3D printing noobs or something like that. It's like 70 it's odd 3D thousand, printing then... noobs, um, beginners that's the name. So if you let me go, pop it in there. Uh, it's, yeah, I think it's the end of August, that. it's the end of this month, isn't it? It goes live, end of August is when it goes live. Um, and uh, and yeah, I mean, I'm I'm really excited about it going live. Um, and and for especially for like the entry level price, like yeah, it's it, it's cheap for an eight k and especially with like the heat and chamber uh, heated chamber and all that yeah. just it ticks a lot of boxes for like winter for me. Yeah, agreed, agreed. Clipper host is trying to connect firmware restart. James has a bundle of five for me. Apparently, nonsticks uh, hint hint in you. A wink wink. Bundle of five, what? Oh, of those. <laughs> Good luck. I don't even know if they're doing a bundle. I don't think they're doing any bundles. So, what's which? So I feel like I should not have updated. So nonstick, if you go and look on um like whatever speed settings you want for which resin printer, if you look in them groups on Facebook, Matt's usually put in the file section like speed settings. Um so I know he's done a lot of the frozen ones. So check check the groups. Um, because I found him in the Corality one that he's put in there. And like I I didn't really believe like 
cutting time in half would make much difference, but I was shocked. Like, Annoyingly, have... I think I'm going to have to do this again. My Mono X is way faster than my Mighty 4K. Yeah, the... yeah, but that's just your light off delay settings. The two mm. machines are the same. Like yeah. the two machines will be the same. Like, and like check like your um, retraction speeds. Like I might, I think both of mine is sixty millimeters a second. And he he has it at ninety on the speed settings, and the difference, like is. Yeah. See, I didn't realize what the light off section meant. So Matt actually. Yeah, neither did I. If I'm honest. I didn't even realise like, it was something I need to pay attention to. Yeah, he was like, oh, basically it means like when your bed goes down, it just means that, uh, yeah, the resin doesn't have to settle for too long. He's like, all right, sounds good to me. But to, all right. to, be, on, to be honest, honestly, if you wanted to use like his settings, you could probably tweak them for yourself because like just looking at his settings myself, I was able to work out like, where my comfort zone is, like where I'd probably adjust and stick at. Because, like, if 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 someone said to me, "I'll oh, just put it at 120 millimeters a second for your attraction speed on my, my, my Mono X," I'd be like, "Yeah, no worries." I would have come back in, and it would have took off, you know, with the speed or ripped the bed or whatever. It just the 407 board has STM32F407 on the chip. Yeah, it's yeah, a bit like the rest. But to be honest, not if you probably even if you just adjusted like your your speed settings like on the retraction, like I don't know what they are on the frozen and that, but like like move them up to like if it's on 60, move it to 70, and it'll take a couple of hours off. Like he has, so I think normally my eight millimeter, my bed rises on my resins and he has it at five. And like, if you've got like 2000 layers on your resin printer and you're taking three seconds off each level adds up. So I, I used Matt settings, um, I used Matt settings for the um, for the M3 any for the M3 Max, and I mean, like it was a it it was night and day. Yeah, I I think I I think it's now printing forty five percent faster. And you don't lose detail, do you? The quality still no changed. no 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 exactly the same quality, exactly the same detail. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think, I think I'm probably looking at being about, about 40 to 50% faster. And considering like the, the size of the M3 Max as well, because like, like yeah. James was saying, like, obviously not you, James, but the other James we know, he was saying it was like a 48 hours to do a full bed. Mm. You know, that's a yeah. long time in a resin printer. Yeah. 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 Are you not getting yeah. your Mighty 8K? Who is? You, me, no nonsense. No. Is. At the moment, I don't think anybody is because they're all shipping from Taiwan and nothing's getting out. So, uh, <laughs> so oh, I don't think anybody's getting theirs. Bit uh, of non-stick is the. I don't think it really does. I mean, you're talking about you're talking about the screen being off and then being turned back on again. It doesn't really matter how long it rests for. And then other than that, it's just a stepper motor and stepper motors. They just don't die like that. That's just not how they work. So, yeah, I'm not. I don't think so. Right. I'm going to be honest, guys. Uh, I have to start again. I think I have made a mistake on uh, on one of the configuration points, and now it won't connect to the Clipper State. So, um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to end the stream there. I'm going to play about with this tomorrow. And then, uh, and then we'll get it working as well. My screen isn't coming on at the moment, and I rather think that uh, I'm going to have to figure out a different way to run this cable because I think I'll need to run it on. Uh, I think I'm going to need to run this off of its own power supply rather than 
rather when than I, burning it away at the moment. When, when I first got my Pi 4, I didn't realize like some of the USB cables I was using didn't have like the power connection in it. Yeah. So, um, I mean, it's possible. I don't think that's the case for this, but I, the only thing, other thing I could think to try is to, is to unplug this from the board, unchase all the cable, which is very annoying, and then plug it into a, plug it into like a regular plug top to see if it, and um, to see if it does it. But I'm, I'm now going to reburn the, uh, I'm going to reburn the pie image and, uh, and, and go from there. Cause, uh, you have so to configure the screen yeah. after you connect it via the, oh, okay. Or, All right, well, we'll see whether – well, I'll leave it for the moment then. I'll see whether or not um, it's something I need to play about with. Matt, what's up? Uh, can I make an announcement? Uh, uh, I'm going to stream later on on Twitch, so if okay. anybody is available, please come over I to Twitch. I thought you could have you were pregnant then. No, 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 no. There no, was no, a no. real moment there, wasn't there? Yeah. That was a real sort of – that was, can I make an announcement? Like, like I, am I am cutting my wiener off. Like, that was, that was how – that was the level I was expecting – and, and, and what you ended up. up with was, oh, I'm going to be live on a different platform soon. Okay, fair enough. Well, so anyone who wishes to uh, hear Matthew's voice for longer, absolutely go over and check him out on uh, on Twitch. Or just a, just just an idea. It's tucked off with the picture. your own eardrums because you've got something wrong with you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right. Thank you very much for joining us, guys and dolls. Apologies that was um, it was a very nervous announcement. Yes, it was. Um, thank you very much for joining us, everybody. Thank you very much for Carl. Thank you very much for Matt for joining us for the evening. Sorry, this was a touch anticlimactic, but it is what it is, and these things happen. So, uh, so we will speak to you all very soon. Later, all. See you later, guys. Bye, everybody.